Will you benefit from poop in a pill? Yep, that's right. It's technically fecal microbiota transplant in pills. Well, if you've had problems with recurrent clostridioides or C. diff infection, this pill may be a godsend. I'm going to show you why and when this way may benefit you. Multiple studies show that FMT or fecal microbiota transplant works for patients who get recurrent C. diff. Well, why does this work? Well, the issue is, I'm sure you're aware that we all have bacteria in our body and they're also part of our gut microbiome. Now, if you pick up C. diff somewhere, it can be the C. diff can be living with all other good bacteria that you have, but if for some reason you have to take antibiotics, the antibiotics can kill off the good bacteria, and then if the C. diff is there, it can over multiply, start to produce toxin, and then cause problems with uh, inflammation in your colon or colitis, resulting in diarrhea and assorted other symptoms. So if you're lucky, you'll only have one episode of this C. diff and it will resolve with treatment. But unfortunately, about 20% of patients will have a recurrent episode. And once you have one recurrence, there's a risk of getting multiple recurrences. <music>
There are risks and benefits to everything and this treatment is no different. So stay tuned to the end where we talk more about the risks. But you may benefit from these capsules if you take them two to four days after you have completed a treatment for your recurrent C. diff. And with the fecal microbiota pills, the C. diff infection recurrence at eight weeks was 12% compared to placebo that's people who received a capsule but didn't really have the fecal microbiota in them, which their recurrence was 40%. So that's a huge difference. And now when they followed these patients out for six months, the ones that took the FM capsules had only 21% recurrence compared to placebo of 47% recurrence. So really, the risk of recurrence is much improved. Now, I often tell patients, what would I do? Would I take this or would I recommend it to someone else I love? I would have to have pretty significant symptoms to take this pill. Oh, I can't remember everything, so I got to grab this piece of paper. Wait, page one, page two. Oh, for God's sakes. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I wouldn't really recommend it for me or my family member unless that C, recurrent C. diff was pretty severe and I have failed adequate treatment for the recurrent C. diff. And you, so you might ask, well, why? Why wouldn't I recommend it? Well, it's because of the potential risks. Like we talked about, there could be transmissible infective pathogens or some other transmissible material that we're unaware of that we could end up getting. And although these donors are screened, there could be some pathogen we haven't yet identified. And I suppose there could be a risk of getting infection from some of these spores that are present in the material. And probably to a lesser extent, the possibility of allergens, different food allergens that could be obtained in the material. Yes, you will likely benefit from the fecal microbiota capsules if you have had problems with recurrent C. diff infection. So stay informed. Make sure you speak with your clinician about your problems and ask questions. Make sure you ask the question, what's the risk, what's the benefit? And if you want more information about whether or not you've received adequate treatment with the pulse taper, please see the prior video.